shit on you when you rise above it's unbelievable look growth and development is achievable what's good youtube it's your boy golden the slogan and this is up no wreck world media we got a classic interview for you but you know we don't do no introductions i'm gonna let this young man introduce himself fans welcome home columbia you know where y'all at yeah, but, uh, front of churches and all that shit put some money in the stash and i'm always switching bags don't call me by my government call me mr get a bag most money i ever had yeah, don't play all that. Shout out to them, you heard? In a new studio. Yo, how I feel to uh, have this new uh, space, man? Man, shit, shit feel incredible, bro. Everything feel brand new. It's like, fresh start. And it's for the whole time. You feel me? It ain't, shit really ain't just for me. I mean, huh. everybody, it's a community type shit. This shit about to get bigger than what people think. Funny, if you're not tapped in, that's your fault, bro. Tap in. When you, um, when you moved in uh, the studio here? The sixth right now. I moved in the second at like 11 a.m. Got that bitch done and painted. 48 hours later, desk in here, everything clean, boarding, all that shit. How much you charge an hour? Now, it's, it's no set price. We Right now, we, I might do deal three for 100, or I might, you feel me? Some, right now, I ain't gonna lie, I need 60, maybe even 70 an hour right now, bro. Bro, like, put that work in right now, you feel me? So, but we gonna work. Just know that deals is on the way. How long you been doing this for, man? I know you make beats, so how long you been doing that? Shit, I've been making beats and engineering for like six years now. All right. Do, um, do you feel like you are the hottest producer in Rochester, New York right now? I heard that's the rumor. That's that's a fact. I don't think anybody has done what I did this far. So, I mean, if they did, speak up now. You feel me? Funny shit, but I mean, humbly though. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that to the people to decide. You feel me? I don't know. Y'all hear that? That welcome home Columbia tag. Yeah, there's no, that's my shit. Feel me? We did 10 Girls Club this year. John Moran. We did, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot more to say, but who, I'm gonna who, let y'all decide. Who, who made those songs, man? Shit, right there. The Who That 10 did the 10 Girls Club. Rich Baby did the John Moran. Those did spectacular. You feel me? And follow ups to all them shits. You got the Block Work vid out with Rich Baby. A lot of shit going on, bro. I don't know. Who your favorite artist to record right now in Rochester? I ain't got no favorites, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. But like when you started making beats though, you said how long you said? I started like six years ago. Where you get the inspiration from? I was I was making beats off my phone, just fucking around and uh I used to always record, I, I used to go to somebody to record me and shit, but he ain't want to record me. I started recording on my phone, started making beats on that bitch, doing edits and shit, and then just started taking that shit serious, kept doing it. All right, what beat that you made and you was like, yo, bro, this solidifies me as a... Uh, that I've done this thus far? Yeah, like you was like, all right, now I know for a fact I'm a producer. You know how people be inspiring to be something? Yeah. Like, what did you do to solidify your spot, like, to be a producer? Like, I think it was a collect, it was a, it's a collective of things it's not i think it's what i did it from 2021 to now i mean it's everything all together matters but the projects i put out in the past two to three years really shows you how dedicated i am to this shit and how much time i put into it and how many people i'm willing to work with collaborate with you know what i'm saying I'm always interested to hear new ideas and all that shit and i'm just be taking that shit to the next level and i feel like starting with like pillow talking shit i did with debo everyday shit and the other track we did i can't think of so many songs Song. You know what I'm saying? Did a lot of projects with a lot of artists and shit with you and shit. It's a lot of great videos out. Gotta look for them, bro. Shit I did with Zan. Shit I did with Tan. Shit I just did with Chizzy. The shit with, with Chizzy right now going crazy. That shit fire. You know what I'm saying? GG, tap in. Right. You even you know produced the Tough Times Don't Last. You feel me? The intro. When that shit cut on, that, yeah, that's every time. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That shit hard, bro. All right. So will you see yourself in the next five years? Next five years, I need a corner office in, 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 in the city in New York or like LA or some shit. And I'm trying to like just really be on the billboards, bro. And trying to have, oh, I need these plaques. Not even trying. I just, I mean, that's the goal. Plaque, um, that's from music career, you feel me? All right, what steps could you take to get you to those goals? Gotta work even harder. I gotta put more time in. And I gotta, I gotta reach out outside of the town, but still work with the town. Still do what I'm doing and work with the internet to send out more emails. Stuff like that. 
Do you feel like it's difficult, like being an inspiring uh, producer? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this isn't the easiest job you could pick. There's a lot of other things you could do to make some money, but this is more like you gotta actually care about that shit, bro. This shit ain't gonna happen overnight. This shit ain't feel me. But if it do for you, that's fire too. I mean, I ain't I, I ain't bitter or nothing. I'm just doing my my thing, and then whenever this shit, if it's meant to be, whatever is supposed to happen, it's gonna happen. If it's not, it's not. So mm. I'm content. I enjoy where I'm at. I enjoy what I'm doing. I'm my own boy. You know what I'm saying. Make Making money, I'm making music, I'm doing what I love. Uh, shit, ain't, ain't too much to complain about. All right, for uh, Rochester, New York, like the uh, music scene, how you feel about it right now? Like, do you feel like the city hit heating up, or is it still lukewarm? Warm. I say it's heating up, man. I mean, it's it's always got a certain type of temperature with the music scene around here for a little while now, bro. Like, we can't we gotta stop acting like it's not a whole situation. Like, people know, bro. It's a lot of people who working. It ain't just me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of artists out here doing their thing, and they doing it on a on a crazy level. You feel me? I don't even need to drop the names. I'm sure y'all know. It's a lot of artists out here, bro. Like this, and I feel like town got a buzz. It just gotta keep going, and people got more people. More people got to drop more videos gotta come out more music gotta drop more more just more everything you feel me more producers need to come out more engineers more video but they need to be serious not no money shit not no just doing this shit to come up or some shit like it's not that uh is there any artists out here that you haven't worked with yet that you would want to work with i mean a lot of artists I, I i worked with and if i haven't yet i'm definitely interested in working with them but the top of the list i'd have to say is spes benny um you know what i'm saying all of griselda really i, I mean i got songs i worked with El Camino and I work with Loverboat Luciano so you know what I'm saying I thought it would be a Seth but for the most part those two I definitely want to work with Etho I need to do something with at some point and then just take over the industry type shit you feel me just influence the music type shit like with my way whatever I do just figuring that shit out but yeah alright welcome home Columbia for the people that don't know could you please tell us what that's what that means <laughs> yeah welcome home Columbia came from me making beats on my phone I found the tag on my phone it's you know I'm saying I thought it was fire. I was inspired by Pierre Bourne to keep it all the way of being when I was coming up. And he got the Jamie Foxx skit saying his name. So I just thought that shit, I might as well just make that my name. You know what I'm saying? Welcome Home Clint sounded fire. It was just like a spaceship taking off. And then it, I guess when it came back, they said, oh, beautiful, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. I was like, that's it. I'm gonna just make that my name, bro. I'm Colombian, but I'm American. So that's why I had left it like with the O. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the button, it real Spanish, you feel me? But ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I might, I might switch it up. You don't know. No, ain't nothing that's a mess. So. Alright, alright, and um, how do you feel about Duck No Rec coming out of nowhere and creating a platform for uh, local and mainstream artists? I'm excited for that. I think that that's what we needed. I think what he's doing is important, and I look forward to his post, and I look forward to what it's gonna be, because I know that what it is now, it's not gonna stay like that. It's gonna get big, and yeah, like I said, it might, you feel me? Next academic, I see it. I see the potential, see the work and the grind, and I'm, I'm excited. Alright, any uh, body or anything you want to uh, shout out you want to shout out your uh, don't forget your um, social tags and all that yeah man go follow me on Instagram welcome home Columbia you feel me uh, follow me on you know what I'm saying T hey, subscribe on YouTube welcome home Columbia sometimes that should be giving a difficult time to pop up so just type produced by welcome home Columbia should pop up now you're gonna see a bunch of music you can listen to that too though but yeah man got the studio we downtown welcome home coming downtown we down here now we here bro we got all right so uh, what I was about to say so Someone want to buy a beat from you? How do they? What's the process like? Man, we got. I got. I rather do it in person, but you know what I mean. It depends on how you going about it and what kind of beat it is. If we, if our, if our creativity even man, you know what I mean. Let's not not just force it. Cause I'm welcome home and you're you. You know what I'm saying. Like let's just make something happen naturally. Even if it's not that, then at least we understand. You know what I'm saying. Maybe at some point it could be. You know what I'm saying. And maybe I might make something like that in the future, keeping you in mind or something. You know. I'm saying I see what you inspired by okay maybe I could use that and that and that, and that. yeah all that alright alright so it's more like if you want to beat you can holla at me but it's best to come meet me in person if you if you run into me in person have your money right too bro don't none of that cheap this ain't that bro we trying to make this shit official man this is all official this is top tier beats this is yes this is the real deal shit so you know what I'm saying like I said I'd rather do it in person but yeah if you want if you want to hit me on Instagram hit me on Instagram but call my phone all that shit Bro. I'm open to all business inquiries. How you brag about killing a man, but you went to jail and got your face shot in the can? Damn. Damn.